Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Guess, and uh, we're here today to go over some questions that we've uh, taken from customers here. So, uh, one of the biggest questions that we get is, uh, what's the difference between a Spoolmate 100 and a Spoolmate 150, both made by Miller? Um, so, I'm going to go over the differences um, and what they fit, what machines they fit, and then we're going to weld with the uh, 150 today. So, we're going to hook it up to our uh, 211 here and uh, give it a shot. So. First off, the major differences between the two. So the 100 and the 150. Obviously the 100 is a smaller unit, uh, lower duty cycle, so it has a 30% duty cycle, whereas the 150 has a 60% duty cycle at 150 amps. This one has 30% duty cycle at 135 amps. So smaller duty cycle, but what does that mean? It's a lighter gun, so it weighs about six pounds. This one's about 7.3 pounds. Um, the Spoolmate 100 fits the 141, the 190, 211, the 200, and the 215. And this Spoolmate 150 only fits the 211, 200, and 215. So if you have a 141 or a 190, you have to buy the Spoolmate 100 because it only it fits those two units. The 150 does not fit the 141, does not fit the 190. So that's one major difference. Another difference. You can weld 4000 series and 5000 series with the Spoolmate 150. This one's limited to 4000 series aluminum. So they both do the same sizes of aluminum, same capabilities, 030 to 035. Uh, both will do mild steel and stainless steel. Uh, one of the biggest differences, Spoolmate 100 12 foot cord, Spoolmate 150 20 foot cord, so a little bit more length out of this unit. Uh, this unit here comes with a case and the 150 does not come with a case. So that's another difference. For the price size, this one's $100 more. In my opinion, if you have a 211, 200, or 215, go with the 150. Um, a little bit more duty cycle, and it's a little bit heavier duty gun. Um, obviously, you can get consumables for everything, so not a big deal. All right, so let's, uh, let's give this 150, we'll get hooked up to our 211, and uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll uh, open the box here and we'll get it all set up. Alright, so we got the spool gun plugged in here. We're going to take the cover off here. And then your screw, you won't lose it. It's got a nice little keeper key on there. That's nice. Um, we're also going to take the nozzle and the tip out. So I'm running 035 wire today. Got an 035 tip. So this comes with an extra nozzle and uh, 3030 tips, 3035 tips. Um, in, the, in the kit itself. All right, we're gonna feed this wire here. And I found this is the easiest way to kind of spool it out like that and then feed it in there. So I, th that's the spring for the tensioner. So we got the wire fed, you just pull the trigger. Now that we got it fed here, I'll put the little cover back on. Good cover. All right. So the reason I took the tip off, we just didn't want it to bird nest right there. Put the tip back on. Put the nozzle back on. All right. Now we're good to go. We're, we're feeding wire. We're getting ready to weld. We got gas flow. So let me uh, get my welding helmet. We'll get our gear. And we'll Try and weld All right, so now that we got it set up, I got a T joint here we're gonna try. I cleaned it off with my stainless steel wire brush. Let's get the ground clamp hooked up here. Let's give this thing a shot here. too bad so what I set it up for just turn the auto set feature on I'm running 035 turned on 035 the one on quarter inch aluminum turn it to quarter inch produce a pretty nice uh weld beam let's try it off um, actually that was pretty cool so let's try something a little different here on, uh, that was on quarter inch material so you're probably you're, you're right at the max limit for this unit all right, let's try it on some eighth inch material now. We'll turn it down to eight. Let's see how it goes. 
Not too bad. It got a little bit warm. We'll, we'll turn it down just a little bit. It's not too bad at all. That was a little bit better. A little bit colder. So, all off, it just pulled us right out of the package and throwing a spool in it. I Man, I think well, it's really nice. I mean, if you had a quick job or like I said, you have one of the 211, 200, or 215. The 150 would be the way to go. Um, well, thanks for watching my video. If you guys have any questions, leave comments below and we'll be sure to answer them. Um, so for this video, we're gonna throw out a promo code. Uh, SM150 is the promo code. If you use that promo code and buy a bag of tips or a package of tips, we'll give you five bucks off the purchase of this gun. This gun, both of these also count as an accessory item. So if there is a machine that you're looking at and it's in the Build a Blue program right now, this does count as an accessory and will get you towards that a higher dollar amount for the rebate back. Uh, just keep that in mind. But thanks again for watching. Subscribe at Baker's Gas. Thanks.